Let's make the Sugarfish Sushi Box. Let's recreate the trusting box from Sugarfish. It's simple but elegant and really delicious. Let's give it a go. First, let's start with the tuna sashimi cores. We're working with akami, the leanest part of bluefin tuna. Dice it into cubes and add some ponzu and a bit of grunion. Give it a good mix and let it marinate. Let's get this boxed up. Nice. Let's move on to the nigiri. Sugarfish cuts their fish in a very unique way. They make a blocky, almost rectangular shape. After the salmon, let's move on to the albacore. This is a nice fatty fish. Again, I want to retain their blocky look. Beautiful. Lastly, we're going to do the same for yellowtail, hamachi. This is another fatty fish. Just to get it glisten. On our 15 grams of rice, squeeze, rotate, squeeze. And notice I didn't put wasabi under the fish. This is also another signature by Sugarfish. We'll be doing the same for the albacore. And lastly for the yellowtail as well. I want to note the rice is a little bit on the warmer side. Let's move on to the crab hosomaki. This is probably my favorite part of the meal at Sugarfish. I'm working with lump Dungeness crab meat. To this we'll add kewpie, a little bit of sugar. Use the extract and give that a good mix. Because I'm not using blue crab, just adding that pinch of sugar makes a huge difference. Flaky, savory, sweet. Let's go ahead and use a half sheet of nori for the hosomaki. I'm adding about 25 grams of rice. I'm going to flatten it. Add a layer of that crab mix and let's give that a roll. And we'll cut this into eight pieces. The box is complete. Let's finally do the finishing touches. Salmon gets sesame seeds, albacore gets grunions, yellowtail gets lemon. Let's give it a taste. Tuna is a simple marinade of ponzu and chives. Instead of chives, I'm using grunions for everything. Yeah. Bluefin tuna sashimi is just so clean tasting with the ponzu and the grunions. It works perfectly. Salmon just has a little bit of sesame seeds on it. That one is so classic. Albacore, it gets a little bit of grunions on top. And then for the dipping sauce, it's recommended for ponzu. Also, another interesting thing about sugarfish, on the box directions, it says to dip the rice first. You're supposed to do it fish side first, but because they packed their rice so loose. Mm. Yellowtail is also a fatty fish. This one got a couple drops of lemon. I really like the ponzu for this. I think the citrus for it works really well. Yellowtail is buttery, but it's also very firm. Next is a crab hen roll. There is just a mixture of blue crab and Dungeness crab. I only have Dungeness crab. It's a season right now in the Bay Area, so it's super cheap. Got it from Costco. To boost the sweetness that's missing from the blue sugar, I just added a little pinch of sugar, sugar. and it actually works really, really well. At the restaurant, it's served as a hen roll towards the end. The rice is still warm and the nori is crispy. You missed that in the box, but so good. That's some edamame. Let's see how much the Trust Me box is. Wow, the Trust Me right now is $35 for the box. All the fish that I bought today was probably about 70 bucks and I could probably make close to 10 boxes. All right, I'm gonna share this with her. Thanks for watching.